Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And I wanna start off by saying thank you so much for all of your support and all of your love. Those likes, the subscribes, the sharing, it really does help out a ton. And if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. I can tune in for any angelic messages from your guardian angels and also what archangels might be around you. We also have the option of doing an Akashic Records reading. If you wanna see if there are like, you know, energies from another timeline, some other bit of your soul's expression that might be feeding over into this timeline and seeing if that has anything to do with maybe if you're stuck or unsure about where you're going, unclear, that sort of thing. All right, so the card for today is brilliance. Discover your sparkle, the number is 26. We are really trying to get back to our authentic divine selves. I know it's been like a whole big thing, <laughs> like a lifetime, right? So this is saying that there could be something coming up on the day or in the days following, you know, watching this video and feel free to, you know, pick up on a bunch of different daily videos and that will sort of tailor a personal message for you. But this is definitely saying you're taking a chance on yourself right? This could also be taking charge of any area of your life. So if you're not feeling like you're getting the appropriate advice in one area of your life, you may be moving away from somebody who traditionally gave you that advice and finding someone new. Uh, this is also not being afraid to put your work out there. If some of you need to hear that, okay. <laughs> Again, we're in 2022 as of the recording of this. It is timeless, but you know, you don't need to sit around and wait for someone to approve of your work before you let others see it. I'm a writer. I have chosen to start putting my writing up on Substack. Reason being, I got tired of having to sit and put all this work into query letters to wait for literary agents to get around to whenever they feel like reading my submission to have them come back and go, oh yeah, I don't really do speculative fiction. Really, because your profile says you do speculative fiction, right? <laughs> you know, And so they just wasted your time. And even if they do, take you on as a client, then you gotta find a publisher. Even if the publisher takes you on, they could drop you, right? Or maybe your book doesn't make it, make it, right? And you don't make a whole lot of, a whole lot of money off of it. So there's this whole thing here of uh, don't wait. Don't wait for a process. If you are a musician, get your, get your music out there. If you're somebody who is, you know, just an innovative thinker, or you really have a beautiful skill, put it on YouTube, put it out there in a podcast. Don't wait for someone else to approve before you shine. All right, we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.